The Syracusian fleet is ready to assault the fortress of Rhodes, the famous seaport with its colossus of Rhodes. And there is a fleet waiting to defend this city. And it is a, a pretty large fleet, to be fair. I mean, this is a uh, Davide et Impera naval assault with, like, a uh, ground warfare also going on. So, uh, what's up, guys? I'm Pope John Paul, and welcome back. We're here with another Davide et Impera video for you today. And this is an excellent unfortified siege, I guess you call it, uh, with a naval assault as well. It's kind of a w really weird one. It's like the first I've ever done really with like a naval assault. We don't often like see people playing with like naval units as well. So it's kind of a little bit unusual. It's probably why the uh, intro is a little bit weird and quirky because I have no idea really what I'm supposed to be saying for this. But uh, we have, yeah, naval units here. And uh, we have some huge boats here, like 160 man like uh, Hexaries, I wouldn't know, Assault Hexaries, but yeah, they've got like towers on, like Archer Towers, and it's a shame they've not got like Archers on top of them and stuff like that, but yeah, looks like there's the first clash there, <laughs> and that one just got destroyed, that poor Trimarine. Here's another one, is this one going to get destroyed? Yeah, that, oh my god, Rose's fleet, probably famous having a huge fleet, it's getting destroyed, and another one! Syracuse, I mean, Syracuse is quite a, like, a navally apt fleet as well, and this one might, oh no, that one glanced off. That one survived. It's at 69% damage. And uh, yeah, that one, this one now is under threat. For Syracuse, they might be about to lose a ship. They need to lose one. They've killed like three on the trot. No, just rocked it. Again, 65% damage. So I mean, and they destroyed another one over there. Jeez, oh my gosh. Look at that, these guys here. Still throwing javies even though the boat's going down. Those brave men, look at them throw. <laughs> just throwing javies like, you will not kill us. We'll stay on our boat till it's underwater. And it, yeah, there they go. They're now swimming. And uh, yeah, I think Syracuse has lost one here. but it, And they're now trying to destroy this huge uh, Assault Hex Ares. This has like 160 men on. So you definitely want to try and knock this one out. But uh, yeah, this looks awesome. I really wish uh, people did like more naval assaults and like uh, battles because these are great. And look at that. Just knocking into the side constantly. Both these tiny little boats trying to do it. And here comes another huge one. Oh no, those poor guys. It's getting annihilated. I mean, this one must be low. It's being like constantly hit. Six, uh, 78%. Yeah, it's very low. I think uh, 84. This thing won't last much longer. Surely they're going to destroy this one. I'm not going to just allow it to get away. But it's a light melee, so no wonder it's taking forever to take out these heavy melee ones. But yeah, now they're just, just shooting it to death by the looks of it. They're just going to shoot it with arrows. And some f 15 fire damage going up. Are they going to take it out? I don't know. Uh, has anything happened really over here? Not really yet. We're going to probably keep an eye on the uh, fleet action to start with. Yeah, it looks like Syracuse is quite happy to wait until he's dealt with the fleet. And then he's going to uh, come over and... Well, with his land forces and his fleet forces, you can attack from all fronts. Roads will be surrounded. I mean, it is kind of roads. I, get, I thought roads had walls. But we do have the Colossus over here, as you can see. Looking glorious as ever. And if you'd like to see more Davidia and Pera action, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And uh, keep it up, guys. The comments and support at the moment is amazing. And uh, yeah, just keep it up. And uh, it looks like this uh, Rhodian ship is going to try and get away. Is it going to try and chase up? It's surely going to chase after this one. Is it going to get a hit on it? Who knows? Because, I mean, it might need maybe one, maybe two more hits. But it could take this one out. This is huge. It's got 160 men on it. They're pretty elite. I don't know how they're bloodied up. Maybe from arrows? But, yeah, they are, like, there for the taking, this unit. And it's actually going to turn around as a ship. So, they need to be careful. But, there, oh, no, this ship in the back is coming. This one really stopped, and it shouldn't have stopped. Maybe Rhodes is microing elsewhere. Who knows? But it's going to charge into the back here. Oh, and I think that might be it going down. Yeah, 100% damage. And it was a 49% fire damage. And yeah, they're going overboard. I wonder if they bloody up from just being like either shot or from being rammed. I'm not sure. But there they go. They're uh, just drowning in the water. They couldn't. They can't quite manage it. And there. Syracuse has only lost one boat then in that entire naval engagement. When he possibly could have lost a lot more. He's got uh, archers on some boats. And he's got lots of uh, like heavy infantry on others. So, I mean, yeah, he definitely could have lost more. He came out best, he did, certainly. And uh, Rhodes is now getting ready with the defense over here. We've got the similar, like, Uzonoi. These like look really light infantry in comparison 
to uh, like other units I've seen, like Thorax, for instance. I'm sure, like, oh yeah, like these guys, for instance, they are very elite in comparison. These are Salmonite uh, soldiers, like I guess mercenaries. Uh, but yeah, we've got lots and lots of going over there. And it looks like Rhodes is attacking over here. I did not even realize. Rhodes is being very aggressive here. We've got Thorax attacking uh, some hot plates. And we've got like Rhodes is surrounding units over here. We've got some uh, like. These are apparently heavy melee. They don't look it. They're getting surrounded. What's that unit? This is a uh, Rhodian hot plate. It's not even looking the right way. You might want to turn that around. But I think there's cavalry out here as well. There's been a cavalry engagement. Yeah. Rhodian Hippias out here. They're taking on uh, some Hippias of their of Syracuse's. What else have they got here? They've got a, a shot cav unit, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Well, I say that and then I try uh, anyway. It's like Sister Fori. I have no idea. It's like it just sounds like impossible to say. But yeah, Rhodes is being aggressive out here. He's sallied out. He had a force up on this hill, uh, and he decided that he was going to come running down the hill. He wasn't going to give Syracuse a chance. And he's uh, got hot plates here ready to fight against... I would say these guys are more like light melee, but uh, they, they're they apparently heavy melee. And we'll bring back the foliage. The foliage gives a bit of more uh, aesthetic. I mean, yeah, these units look amazing as always. As always, glorious from DEI. And there you go, that cavalry's going to break. 43 units left. I mean, that's it's surrounded. Are they going to be able to break in time to get uh, out before these hot plates arrive? I mean, they're also... Look at this. They're routing, uh, like, the Siloy back here. So, like, an uh, archer unit. Or, no, these are a slinger unit. Okay. Yeah, these Siloy are being routed. I mean, they're okay. I mean, like, slingers are probably better than archers in this mod, uh, which is a big loss. But, yeah, they, they're not going to be able to stop cavalry. Nothing can really stop cavalry. And, uh, cavalry. and then we've also got an assault over here. Actually, there's assault on all sides now, apart from... Possibly? Oh, no, they are actually attacking off the... Onto the land now as well. I presume these guys are uh, some off the boats. I could be wrong. But yeah, Rhodes is getting uh, no relief on any front. I mean, he didn't kind of cause the issue on this side. But, I mean, he might win this side against Syracuse. Because this is a large force... Here, yeah, he's actually is. He's going to route, uh, like, all the Syracusian units here, you can see. And then he's going to be able to just flank around. He's going to be able to threaten what you'd say is the main force on the flank. He could make this almost into a pitch battle. He just needs to hold here on this line. I mean, yeah, and he might. Geez, Syracuse's uh, units here are losing. Now combat even, but they might need to send some more stuff in. Just to break through this line. These units don't look like they're really engaged properly, but I guess they are. Uh, yeah, and they're losing again. These uh, swords are actually pretty decent. They might want to send some of their own swords in. Actually, these are swords. What? How are they? Jeez, these guys in Syracuse is possibly not as strong as I thought he was. But I mean, are we going to have a charge here into the back? Of these hot plates, I think we are. It's sort of a charge. Sort of really was a charge, sort of wasn't. But I mean, these thorax are really nice from Rhodes in their purple. I do like them. And then are they routing? Yeah, they routed them. Wow, this whole flank for Syracuse is gone. Um, so I mean, Rhodes did really poorly in the uh, naval engagement and lost a lot of units there. But I mean, Syracuse has done really poorly on that flank there, that left flank, you say. And he's now retreating these two units because he doesn't really want them to get outflanked again. And uh, they might need to just defend that flank against Rhodes. But it's now not going to be every side being attacked. It's just going to be three. I mean, that's useful from Rhodes that he's got these men looking the wrong way. And these uh, Marines, I guess they are. These, are, I think these have definitely got to be guys off the... Off the... Uh, yeah, off the boats. He's, and they're just attacking him in the back. <laughs> they're like, don't mind us. We're just going to kill you. Even if you're not looking the right way. Look at that guy over there. Let's, the banner carry is like killing like... He just killed someone with his banner. How do you manage that? He's going to try it again, aren't you? He's got like a massive spike on the end of his banner, I guess. But imagine using that in battle as a weapon. Be blooming hard.
This is also sent in. This battle was also sent in by a member of the Discord. So if you'd like to uh, join the Discord to send in your own battle replays, if you think they're worthy of uh, featuring on the channel, then join uh, the Discord. Link is in the description down below. And uh, it'll be always great to see some of you guys here. As uh, some Javis come in by the looks of it, they're already going to use. Oh no! Well, are these Javis or are they slingers? They could be all sorts. Oh no! These are uh, archers. These are in fact archers. They're a crossbow unit. Wow, Syracuse has a crossbow unit? I don't know whether they'll be actually very good on the offensive. I mean, they definitely have a... Cl oh, they do have a clear line of sight up there onto those guys on top of the hill. But, uh... And they, yeah, that's exactly who they're trying to hit. They're not taking many out, but they are breaking through here. They are eventually breaking through. At what cost, though? I mean, Syracuse has lost quite a bit. His balance power is massively not in his favor. Massively not in his favor. I mean, he's breaking through here. These Unzon, Uzonoi are not that great. They are not holding long. So basically, it looks like he's going to come down to his forces over here. The roads. Uh, because he looks like he's already been pushed out of this sector. He's falling back here with some Rodian Hoplites. But this Rodian Hoplite is going to get surrounded and killed, you'd imagine now. But yeah, they're going to try and chase it. Get as many kills out of this unit as possible. They can even get a kill. But yeah, here they come. Here come the angry Syracusians. This is kind of a, could be a, an actual genuine fight. You could see Syracuse and Rose fighting each other over maybe trade. Or, uh, I don't know. Like being on either side of a, a larger, greater conflict. But what's Rose General? Oh, he's a Rhodian Epiloc. I don't know how you say that, as we can see under the world. He looks cool, though. Oh, yes, I do like their armor. God, they look good. The purple looks just great on them. But yeah, this is a massive infantry here. Massive infantry and cavalry. I mean, Syracuse has still got some stuff. But uh, I don't know if it's really enough. And he, I thought these, he might have pikes. But these are like throw off spears. He's got some of his own like heavy infantry, heavy swords. But yeah, I can't see. Uh, oh no, here we go. Are these heavy phalanx are these going to be his pikes? Yes. No, they're just heavy phalanx. I don't think he can bring pikes. Or if he can, these are... Uh, very heavy phalanx. It might be them. No, again, they're just really strong hoplites. These are very heavy. These are the units who are breaking early, though, to like when they're just getting surrounded by hoplites. So maybe he doesn't have pikes. Maybe not every Greek faction has pikes now. But you can see here they push through. They need to get really through this gap here. Send a unit through here. They're now engaged. Well, both these units are sort of engaged. Actually, this one isn't. But still, you want to try and sneak through this gap with uh, maybe a sword unit. Like one of these elite swords might be a good idea. You've got one here. Send that through. Send it through. Get some kills. But there's like a bloody battle going on down here. I mean, it, <laughs> it looks like a bloody battle, but at the same time, I like keep looking. I'm like, is actually anyone fighting? They also be in the front line just looking at each other a little bit. It's like, oh, look at fancy you being here. But yeah, oh my god, all these slingers now opening fire onto uh Well the flanks here of this unit here. This uh I'm not even gonna try and pronounce these spear. This is a spear unit. <laughs> it's just it's a spear unit, okay? I can't pronounce it. Yeah, I presume they're slingers. Yeah, they are. Wow. That is going to be nasty. Yeah, and it's breaking like that. It's just breaking like that. 160. These units have 300 in it, in fairness. So, I presume 300 man units have got to be trash. Uh, but, that's just a presumption. And this sword unit here is still... It's been looking the wrong way. It's still not broken. And these, uh... These, uh, like... Skeletoi Pezoi? I don't know how you pronounce that. These guys are, uh, Still able to break through. They only lost, actually, got lost four men. So, they must be pretty good. Or maybe they just... The inaccuracy of the uh, slingers and javies of Rhodes is just quite prevalent. Oh, look at the officer unit. i just seen him. Or oh, like the officer uh, model. He looks awesome. I mean, not very armoured, but he looks awesome. All bloodied up. And then in comes some more infantry, I think, for Rhodes. He's sending in some more, uh, more elite stuff. Maybe some uh, thorax? Yeah, some thorax. Because this unit was finally... Well, I think it was losing now. It's uh, sort of back to even. But, uh, there's not enough around here to really make a breakthrough. It's just kind of more of an irritant. More than anything. And uh, look at that. The Samite's already breaking. 
to uh, these hoplites. That's insane. Rhodes is really strong in this. I don't know if it's just that Rhodes is strong or Syracuse is weak or... I don't know. I don't know, but I mean... Everywhere I look, Rhodes seems to be doing just fine. He seems to be holding on most areas. I mean, he's losing here. I don't know why they've not surrounded this earlier. Like, surround... These guys should just go in and break these guys. Save some lives. Also here, surround this fight. Why has this not been surrounded yet? Could break that... Uh, Hot play unit really easily. But I mean, yeah, they've got another line ready over here. We've got more hot plates. And we're sending him back. They're sending back in more of these uh, trash swords. I say they're trash, but they're actually holding the line in quite a lot of areas. Looks like we've already got slingers in here as well. Maybe. Are they slingers or are they just. No, they actually are just a sword unit. They just have the Rodian slinger, like a hat. I was going to say, did Rodian sling, like, does Rhodes have, like, really good slingers? It must do. Surely they do. Let's get rid of the foliage again for a bit. So we can see what's going on. But, I mean, yeah, Rose, oh, Rose is finally breaking here, but there's another line of hot plates ready and waiting for them, and a more a heavy one. We, like, you broke through the heavy phalanx, you now got to break through the heavy, the very heavy phalanx. Saying that very quickly is quite hard for some reason. Uh, but, yeah, and then they've got all the cav here waiting, just biding their time, looking for an ex uh, like someone to go for back in. Probably the general, probably the easiest thing to go for is uh, Bezalius, uh like, Hippias, like, there we go, finally, a uh, Bezalius, a uh, Hippias unit, so, I mean, it'd be pretty hard to take out, but two against one, surely they'll be okay. Uh, and then they're finally routing this Rodian uh, hot plate. I don't even think shooting these guys with, uh, like, Javis or Archers is even, like, worthy anymore. Just leave them. They're going to get surrounded and killed. And there you go, they're gone. Now make sure they route. Make sure they route, because uh, that's a, this is a solid unit, these hot plates. But after you break that one unit, you then come up against this one. Another uh, hot plate unit. And they just broke. Oh no, they didn't break the Salmonites. They are actually winning this Salmonite unit. Apparently they are winning that fight. But then so are the Rodians. So maybe nobody's winning. Who knows. I mean, the Syracuse here could push around here if you wanted to. I mean, there's uh, still more Thorax ready for them. They've got so many reserves as Rhodes. It's, it's looking pretty rough for Syracuse right now. He could do with a few more uh, Rhodian boats getting sunk. I mean, they sunk every single one, but more like boat units for him to sink. Because they did a really good job. They're fighting out in the long foliage. Just shouting at each other in Greek, some random insults, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't know any. But maybe they, may I don't know what they do. They'd be just talking about how bad each other's economy is, because I'm sure that's the only thing Greeks have in con common right now. All have poor economy. And uh, yeah, looks like the heavy spear infantry here is going to break. They're going to have to send more troops in. It's insane. How many troops are they going to send in? I don't think they're going to break through uh, this Rhodian defense. Or if they are, it's going to take a bit of a miracle. And there you go, the cavalry's being mobilized. The cavalry's being mobilized, I'll, along with some infantry. They're going to send out a crack force here. They're going to send out the general as well. It's a risky move. A risky move indeed, but... Might be worth it. They might be able to go and take out quite a few units here. And it's going to drag stuff away from, uh, from the front over here. I do apologize, I just had to like, uh, check on something quickly, I was just like, oh, is like, my recording working and something like that, and then there's uh, something else I had to, another errand I had to deal with, so, but we're back anyway, less of the excuses, Pope, and more of the battle people are asking for, they're like, where is the, where is the blood, where is the gore, I don't care about your life, Pope, I don't need to know the excuses, but yes, it looks like the hoplites here, they're pretty bloodied up, but, uh, they keep knocking down these Salmonites, Look at this poor guy down here. He's just like, yeah, I rest at pe at last. I can die. Rip, rip to that poor guy there. I name him Barry. 
And there are plenty more barriers to come, I'm sure. Many more people will die. Yeah, no, the Samnites are now losing. They were winning earlier, but so was the uh, Hoplite unit. And, uh, yeah, they're just getting absolutely destroyed now, uh, it would seem. These are, I mean, they're tired. They're winded. I'm surprised, like, just through energy that these guys aren't doing better. Why? Yeah, they're just, like, 0 to 10 morale. Wow. And 85 to 100 morale. They're not going to break anytime soon. Jeez, that's insane. Uh, I'm surprised. Again, here. Like, they should really be pushing on this unit. This unit's not in, like... Oh, it's a Thorax unit. Um, they should definitely be pushing on that. Like, taking that out. But, oh, that's a really good move there by uh, Syracuse. He's going to fire his uh, crossbows into the side of these uh, Thorax here. And that's going to cause them to lose. And then that could undo a lot of the defenses over here. It'll undo this one. It'll certainly undo this large one here. And that will really allow in a lot of troops for Syracuse. But Rhodes is now coming around with his flanking force. So, uh, whether that will do anything to change the battle, I'm sure it will. Because, I mean, it will mean that uh, Syracuse is going to have to direct a lot of troops here. He's got no cavalry. He lost his cavalry early on in the game. And look, and all these units here, they just get off the boats. They, like, dealt with the, uh, like, the uh, hardship of, like, I don't know, naval combat. And now they've got to go and fight at a tiny little choke point over here. Against some Thorax, which is still holding. Jeez. They're still at really good morale as well. And they're exhausted. But they don't mind. They'll carry on fighting. But yeah, I mean, everywhere I look, it's just Syracuse breaking. I mean, it's not he's not breaking, like, massively, but, like, he's got a... Heavy melee unit breaking there. He's got some light melee over there breaking. I just can't see like him breaking through anytime soon. He may eventually break through, but at what cost? And Rhodes will just fall back to an even stronger position. Like, this is really, really tough on him. This is a hard map to take on. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, have to see whether Rhodes does anything with this force now. I mean, he's only got two infantry fort units. I thought he had more. Oh, he sent his general back. Okay. And he's got some uh, slingers out here. So he's outnumbered in uh, units, in infantry. But he's got his cav. And that can always be very nimble. Go after archers. All these uh, crossbows here. I just don't... I can't believe these guys have crossbows. Was cr were crossbows even a thing in this period? Maybe in China? I wouldn't have thought they reached Europe by this point. But they're just... I think those uh, crossbows are shooting uh, all these uh, slingers. Because they're now countering the uh, crossbows over here. Oh no, these are Siloy. These are Siloy. Um, but yeah, they broke it through here. The thorax is broken. And they are now in. And uh, they might get these uh, hoplites in the rear. And then they can attack down here as well and against these hoplites. I think that's why uh, Rhodes sent his general back. Because he's realized uh, maybe he doesn't have as many forces as he thought. To defend this uh, final defense. I mean, he's got a lot over here. And I don't... I mean, he's got to commit a lot. Because, uh, I mean, Syracuse keeps sending up more and more. But that, he's only got one more unit. The rest are all in his uh, flank force here that he's got. Imagine if Syracuse had all his troops over here still alive. I mean, they would be really useful right now, I'm sure. But uh, that's why you don't split your force up so much. Like, completely surround. You sometimes just get... I know it's great to like stretch them out as much as possible. But you also can't then make that, like, that sledgehammer of an attack yourself. As we're going to have... Two Thor, uh, two Hoplite units here just duke it out. I don't know what this formation is they're making, but it's a formation. It's something. But yeah, these are very heavy against... I'm going to presume heavy. Uh, just looking at their armor. So, uh, I don't think this is going anywhere anytime soon. It's a narrow little street, and their, Thor and their Hoplites looking at each other, just stabbing each other with a couple of uh, spears. Yeah, it's not going to end very like, well. These are... Archers here, just like, just soaking up the fire from these slingers. Shows how poor missile is in this game. Like, they, I, they have been firing at them. Like that's two or three volleys, and they've not killed. Okay, they've killed one now. Uh, in like vanilla, you'd have killed probably the most of this unit by now, because you'd have had no response. There you go. They're starting to drop now, and a couple more dropping. Down, loss of five. Yeah, it's not really like the end of the world. Sure, and they'll just move the archer when they realise. 
Or will they realize? They might not. But yeah, I mean, this is. I say they've broken through here. This is a major thing. But they've Rhodes has really plugged up the area well. Let's just turn this unit around. And this is a new choke point. And this unit here. But, I mean, they've lost a lot. This hot plate unit here has actually lost quite a lot. Oh my gosh, it is losing them quite quickly. It's on 164. And these uh, hot plates only lost 10. They might break through here. Uh, Rhodes might want to keep an eye on this spot. And they've now engaged over here. They've actually engaged quite quite a lot. And they've actually... Oh no, these are sword, I thought these were the reserve swords, but they're still over there. But here comes the cavalry. Here comes the cavalry. Quite literally. Where's he going to go with it? These hot plates are just like, keep an eye on these boys. Lads, don't let them get out. I was going to say, don't let them get out of your eyesight. And then they turn around, so they're not even looking at them. Good time to charge with your cavalry. Charge is retreating units. It looks like they can impossibly defend the flank of their uh, force here. I'd, wo I'd worry about your crossbows and your general. I think it they're the most likely he's going to take out. Oh, yeah, really good here from Syracuse. I presume he's been shooting into the back of this unit here with the uh, crossbows again taking this unit out 108 uh but yeah so i mean syracuse is slowly but surely he's making small victories in places but he's losing a lot of men in doing so he might lose his general if he's not careful here he's uh, cavalry being very threatening i would actually probably take the offensive engage here with this unit and flank round force the cavalry to come and do something and then you can always send yours and pin it down do whatever, I don't know. But you just gotta be aggressive. Yeah, Rhodes is uh, looking short. His general looks like he's the last bit of reserves going up. I mean, I think they could probably get a Thorax out of here. They don't need to send one of these Thorax, send this weak one to go to the front line. They don't need all these Thorax here. They can take out what's left of the, uh, the ship force, I'm sure, at this point. The ship force is uh, busily just doing its own thing. It's kind of hard to tell who's who. I mean, the light blue is Syracuse. And you've got the purple being Rhodes. But, I mean, it's hard to tell. Oh, and the general has been attacked. They went for it. They went for it. Another cavalry unit went in here against these spears. Didn't get a single kill. And now, yeah, they, they, they're in combat, these uh, shock cavalry. And now they're going to have to fight some uh, swords. And the other uh, shock cavalry's gone into these spears here. The spears turned around just at the right time. They're going to keep bouncing off stuff. Those crossbows might want to start shooting at them. And that cavalry's going to get beaten really easily. 68 men left. They only lost about 10 or so men. It's because the uh, spears are in here, I think. Spears and cavalry together are doing a really good job. And yeah, that's that cavalry gone. You can hardly see them, the purple cloaked men. But they are in there. And yeah, they're, they're going to get beaten. Where's the other cavalry? And how beaten? Oh, it's, it's still pretty fresh. And it is going into this uh, crossbow unit. Oh no, this is not the crossbow. This is the Siloy. Like the. the uh, I want to say Javis, but they're not their slingers. They might need to send back some swords. They might need to. Oh, the general's coming over here now. And yeah, he's going after the crossbows. He just wants to kill these goddamn crossbows. Not a bad idea. They might be okay in uh, combat, to be honest. They also didn't get a great charge. No, they're just gonna... The cab's just gonna pull through. It's gonna go after these swords. Again, this is just kind of causing... it. It's just He's running away as quickly as possible from the general here. And yeah, he's not getting a great charge there. All it's, actually, I was gonna say, it's just saved this Rodian uh, spear, but it's really not. It's really not. This cab is just going deep. It's going deep. And it's going to route because it keeps pushing through. And it's just getting chopped down and attacked from like so many units. And I think that's the cab threat gone. Near enough, this unit here on its own might be a bit of an issue. You can send the general back after that. And then, yeah, like I was thinking, he's going to flank around here in Syracuse with this uh, hot plate here. He needs to engage this one a bit more. And then he can flank hard and take these two units out. And then it's looking very much like it's back in favor of Syracuse. And that's the uh, that's the Bezalius for um, 
Syracuse, he doesn't really want to be charging into the general there. He needs to get out and come back this way and come and deal with the rest of the cav. Then he can go around himself and go and start doing hammer and anvils. Oh yeah, it's definitely looking like it's looking a bit more Syracuse's favour now. More stuff breaking though here for uh, Syracuse. It's just a solid line. This fight is like they've not moved at all here. They've just not moved. These men just being called up. I, I like how they, they're literally like farmers and they're heavy infantry. Like I think DEI's got that wrong possibly, but then you have to make like the ranking has to be somewhere. You can't have like Thoros as light, I guess, because they'd have to be. If you're gonna make, you'd have to make these guys medium. These hop lights medium, and then you have to make Thoros probably light to kind of balance that out. Uh, yeah, see, I guess they have to be heavy just for the rest of the tearing, but they just don't look heavy, do they? And they're losing, whatever they are, they're heavy, medium, whatever, they're losing. And then we're going to have a charge here from the cavalry, into the back of these spears here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's going to flatten them, put them between the spear, or the thorax and their cavalry, and that's probably going to route that unit, if not... Yeah, it is, and they're probably going to route the... Cavalry doing that themselves with the Bezaeus going in. He really needed to be back over earlier. But they can flank round now with their spears. It's going to be nasty. They need to send the sword back this way. I think they haven't got enough here. To pin them down. And Rhodes is breaking on a lot of fronts. He's now got his general in combat. And the general's doing just fine. He's fighting some... Uh, I don't know what these guys are. They're an elite version of the... Uh, like the sword unit that Rhodes has like a bunch of or had a bunch of uh, I don't know where I think they're all dead now uh, yeah the last one there I think just broke so yeah it's just down to like a few swords a few spears and a few archers or slingers for Rhodes now I think most of the stuff's in combat slingers and everything he's got some yeah it looks like he is his thorax over here wavering but yeah basically everything else is in combat and he's gonna get his uh, crossbows in behind that's really good. This is, can only end in uh, tiers for uh, Rhodes here. I mean, he should get his cavalry back. Get his cavalry back and you can just do what uh, uh, Rhodes did to him. All I can hear is the goddamn crossbows and they make such a weird noise. It's not a very crossbow noise. I oh, know it is. It is. Maybe it's just over there. It just didn't sound very crossbowy. Yeah, we'll bring the foliage back. I mean, actually, no, you could better having it off so you can see. Yeah, I mean, they're shooting at all the stuff there. Like, the seasons just change so quickly there. It's spring. It's it's winter. <laughs> and yet, they're going to break that uh, slinger unit there. And now, their sword unit is retreated so he can kind of make his V shape. It. A defensive V. A V for victory. And they're going to try and uh, well, survive in that little point there. So the flank, which looked like he could threaten Syracuse... Is now actually threatening Rhodes because Syracuse is going to win this flank here. And then he's going to be able to threaten everything around here in this flank here, which looked like it was dealt with when they attacked early on. But I mean, they've broken through this choke point here eventually, and now they're fighting some more thorax. And these uh, these hot plates are pretty damn nasty, elite as hell. But I mean, they're they're bloodied up. They're pretty tired, and they may they may die here. If, you, if they could bring pikes, I'm surprised neither side brought pikes. Because they'd be really useful just to, like, break through at this point. But yeah, it's even. It'll be hard, oh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Is the general winning? He is actually winning, like, decisively. I mean, he's fighting a pretty beaten up unit of swords. And another beaten up unit of spears is coming after him next. I'd start shooting the general in the back. If they've not already started shooting him in the back with their crossbows. Which they've been doing all battle anyway. Just shooting things in the back. I'd start shooting him in the back now. And also they've got to push through here. This is... Oh these are Peltas. Okay they're actually going to be okay in combat. I thought these were the slingers. I was like come on. Break these guys. But the Peltas... I mean that, look at that guy. He's got a good kill. No surprise there. These guys can hold their own. 
Like the Peltas look more armoured up than these uh, these spears, but nope. They're, I mean, one is medium and the other is heavy. It seems so bizarre. <laughs> what are the Peltas? Are they they're, they're light missile? That's so nuts how they do their grading in for like armour. And there you go, more sub breaking. This unit here, 116 breaking against these thorax. Jeez, that's unfortunate. And now they can actually threaten the flanks here. This flank is uh, definitely a bit topsy turvy. And the thorax here are breaking. Finally, the ship units are going to break through. Poor guys. If they weren't going to sink at the bottom of the ocean, they all died in this choke point here. Look at this guy with his axe. A proper pirate. I like the guy with his red helmet. Is that blood or is that just a uh, artist? A bit of a, a bit of style, artistic style. I don't know. I'm gonna go with blood. I think he's headbutted so many people. He's just covered his helmet in blood. This unit's actually stabilized since being flanked. That's bizarre, but fair enough. Are the Peltas breaking? They're, they're losing decisively. I mean, that's what I meant. They're not breaking. They're, uh, but they're losing the size of We've got more Peltas coming up now. Even more. They'll hold the line. Reinforce the uh, already wavering one. Or already uh, losing one. And surely these guys are losing. They're taking fire. It doesn't actually say if they're losing. They're getting shot in the flank by these crossbows. These crossbows, if they've not got like 200 plus kills, I'll be disappointed. Yeah, but we're going to see a volley here. Look at that. Just shooting to the side of these guys. Jesus. Why like, why bring anything else? Unless you bring in crossbows, like these crossbows. Don't bother bringing uh, missiles. They've not really performed. Maybe the Peltas have done okay. Javi seems to always do it fine. Um, but yeah, they're breaking these units here. And then eventually, they're going to be able to flank round. And they've got a few units of like broken hot plates coming back from somewhere off in the gloom. But yeah, it's uh, it's close. Put it like that. I mean, Rhodes is now balanced power is now not in favour of him. But he's still got some pretty good units. He's still got some uh, Rodian hot plates. He's still got his general. I just think they need to be sending around uh, the Basilius, or like the uh, general here for uh, Syracuse. Get him around. Start doing some hammer and anvils on some of these positions. Like they'd have broke through the Storax so much earlier, and this unit, these two units thing would have been freed up. They could have then flanked over here. But yeah, it it just seems a bit silly. But they they broke it anyway, so the thorax are in. The thorax are in, or not in, are dead, and the pirate boys are in. The pirate boys are in, and uh, everything else is breaking though for Syracuse on every other front, or nearly every other front. Got units breaking here. These guys have been breaking for ages, and then they go finally gone, and then they're gonna break as well. And looks like the spears are gonna hold here. Which is a good idea because that's a counter to this uh, street here and to this one. So if he'd gone down here, he would have got flanked here by the general quite possibly. Or maybe he should do that. See if the general can be lured out and then they could flank with this unit. Hmm. Possible. But I mean the general unit's so fresh still. He's like, he's tired. But he's got so many units left. And they're going to try and, I don't know, with the rest of the Rodians try and get them back. I don't know. They're going to fall back to, then they're going to fall back to this town square here. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the case. Because this flank here is just, they've not been quick enough. They need to just surround this guy, get rid of them. And then all these units here are finally breaking. Or one of them is. The other one, the other one won't be far behind. But yeah, I mean, it's been really close. Syracuse has been, like, I would have said second to Rhodes most of this battle. But it looks like uh, Syracuse is, well, he's on the offensive now. He might not win. Um, but he's certainly on the offensive now. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. This has been a really, really fun battle to watch. Even if it's only like a 1v1 on large armies, it's been really fun to see uh, who's going to come out on top. It's been ever so close. Ever so close. These guys just ready, waiting for that spear unit to turn up, and I'm sure it will soon. I'd definitely push with the spear unit on these guys. I think you'd probably win that. I don't know, actually, Shaken. They're eager. How are these guys eager? They are losing. I 
They need to slow it down a little bit. Just let these units here get round and surround like this way. Force the Rose to turn another choke point. But instead he's sending more stuff back. I guess if you send the general up, he could just charge into the back of these guys, you'd end it. This unit doesn't need to be like kept they need to get this spear unit out, basically. They need to get it being used elsewhere. Yep, spear's now engaged here. That's good to see. And they're gonna flank on here, they are, I think. Or they should be. This sword just needs to go into the back of these guys. They kill them so quickly. Uh, I don't know if these medium spears will break through. They've not got great morale. Not got the greatest of armor. But they've got the belief of Syracuse. They believe they can break through. They've done everything everything so far. Why couldn't they break through? And here come the swords. Marching. I think you've got to march at this point. I mean, energy is not great in this. And also, you just need to get morale back. You don't want to exhaust people and lower their morale for no reason. Like, these guys are exhausted, 50% strength, and they still got great morale. And here comes the charge of the swords. Okay, that guy there in the front lines has got a... Oh, he's dead. He's just got cut down. The guy with the red helmet, he's been at the back of the fight. I take it back. It's not blood. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't blood. It was uh, artistic. But I kind of wanted to believe that people have been headbutting people to death on a regular occasion. But yeah, it's surely the speed now. It's combat even. Come on, push on this front. Break these guys. They should be breaking so quickly. And this fight out here is still going on. This is just ridiculous. I don't know why, like, Syracuse doesn't just put this to bed. Got, like, a general unit, just like I said, to come in route it, or even just like a normal infantry unit. Just send it in. I prefer the Thorax and the DEI to uh, the Thorax in uh, vanilla. They look so much nicer. They actually look like they uh, deserve the very heavy status. And, like the ones in uh, the ones in vanilla don't look very armoured at all. They look like they should just be heavy. Hot plates breaking here at 103. Gee, oh wow, an entire chain route on this front line going on. And another unit here. I mean, they're routing this unit finally, but someone's going to need a general kill soon, I have a feeling. I want to just shoot them to death. If your units are breaking here, just shoot these guys to death. Wow, yeah, wow, these units aren't coming back. 119, they're gone. They are gone. Swords here are going to engage on this little flank here. They might break through. This is a fairly fresh unit against 85 and going down spears. Yeah, I mean, Rose did a pretty good job, I won't lie. Oh, wow, he's surrounded the sword unit. He's, he's not giving up the fight, is Rhodes. He's not giving up the fight, but I mean, Syracuse... Needs to now quickly go over and counter flank this, surround some of their unit, uh, like Rose units, punish them for surrounding their own. Like, this is like almost like they built like a fighting pen for them, and it's like, right, survivors, sub fight to the death, last one alive, gets his freedom. But it's the pirate boys with their axes, they're still alive, that's great to see. Pirate boys, got to do your worst. What's this unit called? So let's toy, Silite Pezoi, I don't know. But I mean, there's another one here, and they both need to push in hard. Oh, there's a couple left. They need to push in, take out these uh, Peltasts. They're actually going to hold the line, and they're going to break this unit. Jeez. All right, the general needs to get around. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a chain route there. Well, not a chain route, but a bit of a route. And this sword unit now needs to push on. Needs to get up here, surround the general. Oh, and I think the general here has seen, uh, for Syracuse, has seen a way in. He's seen, obviously, that little gap there, and he's thinking, yeah, that's my way in. I can get in, and he can then just take take out these thorax, 
take out all sorts. And here we go, we're gonna have some Peltas on the line here against some of the Marines. And more units breaking. I mean, that's good if you're rooting for Syracuse. Surely they're going to push through this gap. I mean, the swords have kind of just attacked on the flank. I guess it holds the general in place, but they could definitely get stuff around this gap. And they can just go in, take out the thorax, take out everything here. Rhodes is, like, chain routing or keeps, like, wavering. And then just go, nah, I'm okay. I'll hold. They broke that unit, though, in the center here. That was, like, right in the middle of that unit. I'm not surprised. Yeah, Peltas wavering here. I mean, how are these still holding? How are they still holding? I'm going to just fast forward a little bit. Like, they're not even fighting each other. The general's just looking just like, yes. These look like fine opponents. We shall fight them one day, but not today. In that exact sort of, like, British, posh British voice. He'd say it exactly like that, he would. This Greek... This Greek man would. I mean, this is... They've got to break through here, surely. There's just slingers, peltas, a tiny, tiny hoplite unit, which keeps wavering. But send the general in. I mean, you, these guys will then have to fall back. But where do they fall back to? There's nowhere they can fall back to that's... Like, got a narrow enough choke point. I guess they could hold here. But, I mean, this isn't going to hold for long. These thorax are still holding. How are they still holding? They're being, like, attacked by two units against one. I, I don't know. I guess thorax are pretty good. Well, they're supposed to be quite good in this. I mean, all the units just look amazing. Look amazing. And they, another unit breaking. That's the unit that's been in there from the start. Or, like, not from the start, but, like, in this initial combat. That might return. That might return. 160 men. It seems unlikely they would just fully break. But please, I'll oh, just send the general round. Just, like, it's begging to be killed. Begging. Also, you can just flank here. Flank here. I mean, you only got one unit breaking. You can get the other ones out, up and kill, like, get around and kill them all. You can kill this thorax off. That's a better unit to kill off. It's so low as well. They're actually going to beat their, uh, like, the hot plates they are fighting, I think. Because they've got a bit of a flank here. They keep pushing around this flank, this left flank. They're actually circling them now. And circling these men. These poor hot plates. I just look, that helmet there is just awesome. Just like with the little visor above. Oh, he's now dead. No! You had such a nice helmet. And now we'll just fast forward a little bit. As like, Rhodes breaks here. I mean, he's sort of fighting here. Still, they're, they're just, they're, they're not even like, uh, yeah, well, there you go. These units are going to break through and then it's going to be surrounding these units. That are left for Rhodes, and it's going to be probably a victory for Syracuse, you do imagine. Looking at the balance of power, and the flanks is happening. I don't know why the Bezalius has not really moved around. He could have definitely got around. He could have gone a long way. He could have gone through that corner, that little gap there as well. There's loads of options he had available to him. Loads of options. But yeah, I'm sure as soon as these guys go in, they will go from even down to... Yep, I was going to say down to losing, but I mean they're just going to waver straight away. There they go, waver away. Fight 
Well, I think the most exciting bit was definitely watching the ships right at the beginning of the battle. After that, it's been a real big grind in the hot plights. But it's been a fun one. It's been a fun one. Just thinking about all the all the uh, the uh, ships. It's been really cool. I have to definitely do some more of them. Uh, next time I am uh, playing some more battles, I'll be recommending we do some poor assaults and stuff like that, and just have a go with these uh, ship units. Definitely be a great idea. As more Syracuse breaks, like uh, he's just still got. How has he still got stuff to break? Like, and say I think the crossbows are also finally out of ammo. They've got their swords out. Just flank here, flank here. I know you've got stuff in behind now. Yeah, look at that. They've just got all of their troops freed up to go and attack the general in the rear. I mean, he won't break straight away. He's very fresh. Well, he's not. He's like lost 50 men, but the other one's very fresh. Or maybe that's also lost 50 men. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I guess 50 men out of 200 is still fairly fresh. They're confident, though. They're confident they won't die here. I mean, yeah, Syracuse is losing more by the moment. 56. As uh, Hoplites, they're dying. He keeps going shake and then steady. And he's losing a bit more, uh, a few troops here and there now. Well, I think it's going to be over for Rose and their general. I'm not sure why they haven't said in, like, the hippiest general here. I don't think they've had. No, the general is still alive, this one. I kept thinking, why is Syracuse breaking so easily? Like, had he lost his general? And, like, his general early on and been really unlucky? But no, he's just... Syracuse has got poor morale. I mean, DEI, you do have poor morale. And I guess they're going to try and just break this uh, general unit and then they can uh, just probably break the uh, Rodian uh, hot plate just pretty easily. Probably just break instantly with the general. But we'll watch the last stand of the uh, of the Rodian hot plates. And they fought well to defend their Colossus, but just not well enough. Just not well enough. And there you go, I think that's them breaking. Yeah, the generals are gone. And you imagine he'll get killed off here in a moment. And there goes the other unit. And that is going to be the battle today, I think, guys. Syracuse just about wins. And a costly victory against Rhodes. So we'll have a look at the end results. Um, so yeah, Syracuse, I mean, his general getting 76 kills. His cavern getting 24 kills was killed very early on. Um, like his uh, Skeletoy, uh, like these are the guys off the... Uh, boats and they like 155 kills 328 that's good uh, and then he's got some arch units here that came off the boats uh, and they got 82 kills it's not bad and he's got some pretty cheap well I think they were just cheaper swords it's got 483 that's really good uh, and then he's got I don't know if that counts like the kills on the boats I have no idea actually that's a good point then we've got some uh, swords here 208 kills. Then we got some uh, Salmonites, 226. They did really well. Uh, 253 uh, with those Salmonites. And then we got some Skeletoy Hoplites. There's 165. They did quite well. His uh, crossbows did get 289 kills. So they did go over the 200 marks so well into them. Got some uh, Spears down here, medium Spears down here, getting 421 kills. They did really well as well. And then the General for Rhodes getting 300 kills. Uh, none of his, uh, 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 like, Trimians or whatever got any kills. I mean, one. Is anyone? His cavalry got 295, which is good. His the shot, other shot cavalry getting 164. Um, his peltas getting 130 kills, which is pretty good actually for missiles in this game. Um, his hoplites, I think the best one, got 111. And then his uh, like swords got his weird, barely uh, armored swords got 133. His a uh, like Rodian hoplites getting 100, uh, 415, sorry, and 345. So really good for them. And then his uh, like lighter armor, Rodian Hoplites, getting 122, 124, 174, uh, 1, that's good. And then his Thorax, getting 333, 
Uh, one got 84, which is not great, and the other one got 211 and 214. So well done to both Aiden, who was playing in Syracuse, and Sachex, who was playing in Rhodes. They both did really, really well, and thank you for the replay. Uh, it was an excellent and new, unique one with all the boats uh, involved as well. So if you guys enjoyed it and would like to see more Davide et Impera action and more naval action as well, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.